Bonk is the new undeniable king of meme coins of 2023 and in this video we're gonna discuss what are the chances of Bonk doing another 10x from here or even higher than a 10x based on the past performance of the largest meme coins of 2020 and 2021. Now so far from the bottom of October 2023 okay Bonk had already made a monstrous move of almost a 200x to the very top and around an 80x to the current price as I'm recording the video by Bonk, okay? Now in this video guys, we're gonna discuss actually a few scenarios that very, very few people out there in the world of crypto YouTube discuss how Bonk could continue its way based on what Bitcoin and Ethereum are doing, okay guys? Because as I'm recording this video on a Friday here, I just gotta tell you something, okay? Like if you open your trading view, okay? If you open your trading view or coin market cap, okay? And you see something like that, like Bitcoin down 4%, but Ethereum is up 1%, like that's not normal market conditions. That's actually very rare market conditions that happen once in a year or so. I'm gonna show you that very quickly. And based on that, guys, I, I'm actually gonna outline a few scenarios, okay, that I think <clears throat> are gonna be likely for Bonk in case we are right, okay? And then if all of that is gonna materialize, then I think Bonk will have, first of all, fantastic chances of doing a 10x, and we're gonna explain exactly why. And again, arguably, maybe, again, depending on how much Bonk will fall from the current price, maybe it will have something like still another 30x from the next bottom. But it strongly depends on where does Bonk bottom based on our scenarios of what's gonna happen. All right, guys. So for that, let's start the video and we'll have to go first to Bitcoin and Ethereum, okay? Why is that exceptionally important, guys? I'm gonna show you very quickly, okay? Every single time, okay, Bitcoin is the real king of all of crypto, okay? So Bonk is the king of meme coins. Bitcoin is the king of all crypto, okay? And Bitcoin is exceptionally important okay this has been a mistake that many new beginners and i have done in the past that i was like over focused on altcoins and forgot about bitcoin but bitcoin is actually your macro compass of what the altcoins are gonna do okay <clears throat> Okay, so let me show you an example. Okay, so Bitcoin was like in the major bear market and started recovering from the bear market. Okay, and as it started recovering, we already had very, very nice moves uh, by altcoins over here. Okay, once Bitcoin was dropping, we almost had no significant moves by altcoins. Okay, they were collapsing like crazy. So in the example, I'm going to show, okay, what happened is Bitcoin reached the 30k region. Okay, in April 2023, got rejected, reached it once again in July 2023 again got rejected in over here in October 23rd okay it like blasted through after a long long time finally Bitcoin was above 30k for the very first time again look at this date this is October 23rd 2023 now let's go to Bonk okay what was Bonk doing up until uh, this exact date so in Bonk's case okay October look look how crazy is that okay October 23rd this was actually the very, very, very beginning of the recovery by Bonk from this major bear market it had all the way back from January 2023, okay? So Bonk collapsed like 96%, okay? And then it started recovering just as Bitcoin started recovering, okay? And like from this particular day, okay, since Bitcoin breached this 30k region, okay, from here, Bonk still had another actually 100x to the very top and again around like a 50x to the current price okay so again why am i showing you that i just want to show you that like this ultra significant move that we'd had with Bonk in a way Bonk was allowed to do that only when Bitcoin finally made a very very significant technical move by its own okay so if you guys have been around you probably know that bonk was not the only one that pumped heavily okay we actually had the strongest altcoin season we had since 2021 in the last three months again thanks to the fact that bitcoin was over here like above this 30k region so this is why bitcoin is like the main compass for us to know what the altcoins are gonna do 
And this is how we can more or less try to navigate what Bonk is gonna do based on what Bitcoin is doing, okay? So now guys, as I said, I wanna actually explain why the current market conditions of Bitcoin down 4% and Ethereum up 1% is extremely rare and why in a way I'm cautious, okay, for the next short term, okay? All right, guys, yeah, so the main reasons why this is so odd situation what we're having right now, okay? So most of all, guys, Ethereum is really following Bitcoin pretty closely. Like, you know, normally you have something like Bitcoin is up 2% and Ethereum is also up 2%. Bitcoin is uh, down 3%, Ethereum is down 3%. Ethereum is very rarely outperforming in such a significant way uh, against Bitcoin, okay? Particularly in a very short amount of time, okay? So I wanna show you, okay, guys, like the Ethereum price against Bitcoin, okay? And literally, guys, like in three to four days only, okay? Ethereum against Bitcoin is up from like 4.8 to 5.9, okay? Like it's it's been a move of like 25% Ethereum was up against Bitcoin. Now, if we go back in time, okay, let's actually find the last time Ethereum against Bitcoin had a 25% move or higher, again, in such a short amount of time, okay? So to find something like that, we first need to get to back to 2022, okay? And back in 2022, we did have like a 30% move, again, in a very short amount of days, you know, like this is the daily candles, right? And it was like one week, okay? Like in one week, Ethereum against Bitcoin moved like 30%, okay? This was a very significant move. And again, this was actually a beginning of a new kind of slightly bullish wave at the time when Bitcoin got to 25K and Ethereum got to 2K uh, by the summer of 2022. But then it collapsed heavy a few months later with the FTX collapse, okay? Let me show you one more example and you'll understand exactly where I'm going with this, okay? The next very important example is actually even more important, okay, than the last example because the last example was in the bear market. So this example happened in the bull market, okay? And it actually happened at the end of the most significant, of the biggest altcoin season that crypto has had since 2017, okay? And I'm referring to the first part of 2021, okay? To May 2021. Over here, Ethereum against Bitcoin was kind of silent for a long time. And then it just like had a major bull run of like one month that it literally doubled against Bitcoin. And again, why is that exceptionally important? It's because in most days, like we said, they just go hand in hand. You see, like most of the time they don't move much. You see, this is the Ethereum against Bitcoin chart. Normally they move almost the same, okay? Sometimes Ethereum slightly dropping against Bitcoin or slightly going higher, but again, very slowly, okay? Very rarely Ethereum against Bitcoin has such a major move, okay? So let's have a look on May 2021, uh, which is the more important example, but we're also gonna look on the July, August 2022 example, which was the bear market. Again, the last two times that Ethereum against Bitcoin had such quick and crazy massive move, okay, just in a few days against Bitcoin, okay? So let's have a look what happened, right? In July and August 2022. So like you can see, we were recovering over here. What happened in uh, August 2022 is, th is that we've had the Ethereum merge and Ethereum moved to the proof of stake and there was a lot of hype uh, with Ethereum and in crypto. But you see, we just had another like one month of slight bullishness in a bear market, right? And then eventually Bitcoin actually collapsed to lower lows. And just generally in around a month after that, it collapsed, okay? Now let's check May 20, uh, April and May 2021. Like you can see here, this is the Bitcoin chart. We were actually having a kind of the last push of the bull run, okay? And then we collapsed in a major, major way very shortly afterwards at the end of May. This was like a really significant collapse. It was like a 50% collapse with Bitcoin and like even more than 50% collapse in many other altcoins. And all of that really happened like in one week. Just so you can also see not only Bitcoin, okay? So once again, if we will look at the total crypto market cap, just all of crypto combined. Uh, so this was May, 2021. You see like this was this major run by Ethereum against Bitcoin, okay? So we had sort of the last push at that bull run, okay? And then like a massive collapse of, again, like we said, something like a 50% 
in all of crypto combined okay so guys where do i go with this and what exactly do i mean what i actually want to say is that i think the next few weeks and months are going to be exceptionally important in the crypto bull market okay and i want to outline one scenario that i think is not the most likely but if it's going to happen it's just going to surprise everyone in the crypto market okay and soon i'm going to share that scenario but i'm also going to share the other scenario that i think is still more likely to happen okay so what am i trying to say okay so the last time we had this massive massive surge by ethereum against bitcoin okay uh it lasted like a month okay in 2021 last time it happened in the bull market okay it happened in 2021 okay so what i'm saying here is that if ethereum against bitcoin just continues to shoot up and up and up every single day and again guys just remember that it happens really rarely and it normally happens in very important pivotal moments in the bull market or the bear market okay so if we actually don't stop somewhere around here and ethereum just keeps shooting up and up and up and bitcoin is not moving that much then i think we're actually gonna still have in the next month or two a super significant altcoin season even stronger than what we already had okay but but i think what's gonna happen like maybe two months from now or maybe around the time of the halving and probably slightly sh before that i think we're actually gonna experience something significant like here like all of crypto is gonna collapse 50 percent and it's gonna be a major major top like first of all it could actually be the very very top of the ho this whole bull market okay this is something like I think I didn't hear anybody say that yet, okay? And again, I don't think that's super likely, but I just want to outline it because it's possible, okay? I think it's possible that the end of this bull market is going to even happen before the halving or around like March 2024, like the significant top, okay? Maybe we have something similar to what happened in 2021, like the significant top, then a collapse for like two, three months, and then another kind of not a very strong push, you know, like let's say up until the end of 2024, and then a new bear market. This is like the less likely, in my opinion, scenario. But again, absolutely nobody is expecting that. And normally the market does, but nobody is expecting, okay? So this is scenario number one. So guys, now let me share with you the second scenario, which I think is more likely. And then we're going to come back to Bonk, how, how Bonk can perform in both scenarios, in my opinion, okay? So the second scenario that I anticipate, and again, in my personal opinion, it's more likely than the first scenario that actually the market cycle top is pretty close and that Ethereum is going to keep exploding and exploding and create a major, the most major altcoin season in the next month or two. This is the less likely, in my opinion, scenario. The more likely uh, scenario, in my opinion, is that actually Ethereum against Bitcoin is going to stop somewhere uh, soon, right? So it already made its move. So like it would mean... <coughs> So like if we're going back to the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, it would mean that like the end of this major run is somewhere here and it's not going to keep running even more and more. OK, and actually that first of all, Bitcoin had already had its top here at 49K. OK, this was the top. OK, so in that second scenario, we already had a local top. OK, by Bitcoin here at 49K and actually Bitcoin is going to correct for the next few months, probably. OK. And Ethereum is actually at the top around uh, around now. Like maybe it will, maybe it can still run to like 2800, or maybe even fake to like all the way to 3k. Uh, but this is actually going to be another local top now by Ethereum. Just normally, Ethereum is always kind of lagging Bitcoin, and it's always making uh, the major move at the very end. Okay. So in the second scenario, I'm going to anticipate Ethereum to top very very soon. Okay. Either today was already the top, or it's going to top. You know, like one day from now two days from now you know around as i said like maybe from the 2700 to the 3k uh level and with bitcoin we're gonna have uh lower lows okay so probably in the very so you know probably in the next few weeks you know i will be super surprised to see bitcoin collapse below 40k so i'll be expecting bitcoin to still fight here in the region of the lower 40k okay in the second scenario uh let's say maybe all the way to the beginning of february or something like that or the end of january but then it will enter a more significant correction, okay, by Bitcoin. And then, in my opinion, Bitcoin can correct all the way, like to, in the worst case scenario, to 30K or maybe even do some sort of a fake out uh, just below, right? Like maybe go to 28, 27, 29K, but spend a very short amount of time in this region, okay? 
uh, and then start recovering once again for the much more significant move of the bull run by uh, Bitcoin and the rest of crypto. Now, as I said, the 30K is kind of my lower target and I think Bitcoin can actually stop correcting either at the 38 to 37K or also around 34, 33K. So basically to simplify the second scenario, okay, if we start seeing Bitcoin in the next weeks and months, kind of consolidate here at the lower 40K, okay, and then drop to just some prices between 30 to 39K and also stay there for maybe a month or something like that. Uh, just maybe, maybe just prior to the halving, right? Like something like February, March, pretty close to the halving, okay? Uh, and again, just remember, it's possible it will even uh, fake very quickly below 30k now if it goes below 30k that's a super significant level okay and then we have to be very very smart okay again i don't think it's very likely there are chances it doesn't even touch this level at all but i still want to outline and anybody who's watching this video non-financial advice as always but just so that everybody's ready and understanding what's happening okay if bitcoin is getting below 30k and stays there for days or weeks okay in my opinion it's going to be exceptionally bearish very unlikely but if it does happen i actually think this like this was the bull run and like you know we gotta pack our bags and go home for like a few years um so again if bitcoin does correct to the 30k region and then starts to be just below 30k it's going to be very significant to see what's going to happen then. But again, my base expectation is that if it happens, it's going to drop to 28, 29, 30 K, probably, uh, sorry, 27 K, probably not even stay there for more than one day, maybe maximum one or two days, and then like shoot up back up to 30 K. Okay. So this is what I'll be expecting to happen basically in quarter one. Okay. Between January to March or something like that. And then maybe late March, mid March and the beginning of April, really close to like mid April, okay, to the halving of Bitcoin. This is when I'm going to be expecting in that second scenario, Bitcoin to start moving higher, okay, moving higher. And then in my opinion, start to really fight with the all time highs, okay, like in that second scenario, I'll be expecting Bitcoin sometime in quarter two, probably between April to June start to really reach this region of 60k or more and maybe even already have an all-time high by then anyway we're gonna live day by day and see what happens by then so guys with all of that being said i want to get back to bonk and outline what i'm gonna be expecting bonk to do in the next few scenarios okay and uh, how how likely it is to do a 10x or even higher again based on these two scenarios so let's start from scenario number one, right? That like the peak of the bull run is actually going to be before the halving of Bitcoin, okay? So now in that scenario, this is what, what more or less I see. This means that what we had over here, this was the last bottom for Bonk and it's going to continue shooting up in the next few days and weeks and months. And it's going to like, you know, probably obliterate this all-time high again in the, very, in the very short future. And we're going to see, can it really do a 10x from the current price? Right, so in that scenario, what's what's happening right now is that Bonk is probably gonna correct a little bit here uh, between the 16 to uh, 13, 14 region, okay? And then just continue probably by the next week be a lot higher and higher and higher, okay? If we keep seeing that and Ethereum keep exploding, exploding, again, I think this is scenario number one is playing out and the very top, very significant top is soon. And then we're gonna have a major collapse around the halving time, okay? of like 50% or even worse in like all of crypto combined. And again, if Bitcoin collapses 50%, please remember that also Bonk, even if it does another 10 or 20x from here, it's gonna collapse again like crazy, something like 70 to 80, 90%. So it's very, very important then to take the profits, take the profits at the top, okay? So this is scenario number one, right? So the current price is 14 and we can just have a look at the current market cap, okay? And let's just round that up for simple math, okay? Just to uh, 1 billion, okay? Now let's have a look what the king of meme coins of 2021, Shiba Inu, did, okay, la uh, in the last bull run, okay? And back then, okay? And back then, Shiba Inu in May 2021 reached around a $10 billion dollar of market cap okay and interestingly it is still actually now lower okay and right now shiba inu is around the six billion okay so if something like that happens i'll be expecting probably shiba inu also to pump okay if this is like the major pump of all altcoins that's starting now probably shiba itself is gonna also reach like 10 billion or more but i'm gonna expect bonk to reach 
something like that right current market cap is is 1 billion okay and i think it's gonna be very decent for it to reach like between 8 to 10 billion okay maybe it can be even slightly less <clears throat> maybe it can be even slightly less than uh, 10x from the exact uh, current price okay uh, you, you know like sometimes the market can disappoint us and we should expect even slightly less so let's say something like even 7 billion you know it could be even 7 to 8x from here maybe a 10x from this bottom okay this again if this is scenario number one play now now if what we have here is actually the second scenario and we're gonna have bitcoin okay correct like let's say something like 30 percent from the wick which is like 33k okay and uh from actually the daily closes let's see the 30 percent correction would get us to like 32k okay so if bitcoin does correct like to the lower 30k region okay within the next probably not this month probably maybe february maybe even beginning of march something like that remember when bitcoin corrects 30 percent everything else corrects 50 percent or more okay so if all of altcoin if all altcoins are gonna keep correcting significantly and uh in that scenario then this region here at 16 was actually kind of a lower high probably from here and then if again bitcoin and the rest of crypto correct significantly i think bonk is again not gonna be immune to that and probably gonna correct okay either to this uh low that it already had okay or correct to this fibonacci 78.6 extension which it didn't reach yet and then i think this could be a very very interesting possible bottom for bonk and you know like if it does happen like in the beginning of february or something like that you see we've had also this trend line that bonk broke through so now if we're gonna continue that a little bit here yeah so i guess in that scenario like if it's gonna happen like let's say late january okay if by late january bonk is gonna like actually collapse like 50 percent okay from the current price what i think can happen it can reach this region okay uh this price so this is gonna be the price of bonk so right now it's for for you know simple numbers we're gonna call this 14 this is gonna be seven okay this is gonna be like 50 percent less than the current price and then it can actually backtest this trend line okay and then establish a new bottom okay with the rest of crypto <coughs> okay so either bonk will correct all the way to this region of seven or uh, or also possible if bonk is gonna show a lot of strength which i think it's very possible because so far it's been very very strong altcoin this this last quarter so in in so in another very interesting scenario okay uh for bonk for bonk okay if we actually do gonna get a correction in all of crypto i think what bonk can do is just like you know just spend some time and like bounce back and forth over here you know like up until like february march you know and then in april start building its way back again and reach new all-time highs okay like around the time of the halving or maybe slightly uh later again it will strongly strongly depend on when exactly bitcoin will make a new very significant technical move just like it did here in uh, late october okay and then bonk was allowed to explode okay so guys let's get to kind of the most juicy situation okay in terms of the gains that we can make with bonk okay and let's and now let's think if bonk is actually gonna be halved okay from the current price okay so the current market cap like we said is around 1 billion again we're gonna make simple numbers here simple math okay let's say bonk corrects to like 500 million okay market cap right so then we again in my opinion we have this kind of interesting target of around the 10 billion okay by shiba inu and you know in that scenario it's also pretty nice because we're already starting to talk about a 20x okay so just if we so just if bond collapses to 500 million market cap and then reaches 10 billion okay this is gonna be a 20x okay like again if this scenario is gonna play out in my opinion it's gonna be absolutely fantastic and really the best case scenario but i want to mention one more thing right so like in the second scenario like we said bonk is gonna <clears throat> bonk is you know is gonna like just consolidate here so let's get back to shiba inu because then in that situation where we actually can have somewhat of a similar situation to what might happen to bonk okay uh and that this is what happened with shiba inu the last time okay so let's go back to 2021 and let me show you here okay so right now I'm, I'm on the weekly chart okay so basically this okay this was that collapse from that like ethereum surge in may 2021 like we said everything collapsed very significantly shiba inu also collapsed like 87 percent okay and then 
it established a floor, okay, and then it spent there uh, basically between May to October, you know, like five months, and then it exploded, like in one month, again, like you saw with Bonk, once we have the move, it's a very fast and crazy move, um, and with Shiba Inu, basically, we had like a very, very quick 10x, and it was already a large coin, okay, over, over here, Shiba Inu actually reached like 35 billion market cap, okay, now, look, guys, like, I just want to mention, right, so, um, like when I go with my pr price predictions, you know, I don't expect or hope for my absolute best case scenario play out. But, you know, I want to outline that and I want to say that this is possible. So, again, what we're going to discuss now is, in my opinion, going to be um, really like the best case, okay, for this bull market for uh, Bonk, okay? And in that case, okay, and this is, and this is more or less what I'm gonna be talking about, okay? So we already had a very major move by Bonk, okay? We're not gonna be get back to these prices probably ever, in my opinion. Nothing is impossible in crypto, you know, maybe I shouldn't say ever, but you know, at least in the next few years, I can't really see Bonk, uh, you know, getting back to these prices. So what this means is that we've had this major, more than 100x move by Bonk, okay? And then, like we said, we're gonna we're gonna establish a floor here, just like Shiba Inu did in mid-2021, okay? And we're gonna spend here, you know, like a few months, maybe even longer, maybe even after the halving, okay, of, uh, of Bitcoin, okay? And basically from January until, let's say, something like June, July, Bonk can remain in the same range. But then, guys, if Bitcoin is already at new all-time highs, and Bonk is, and Bonk like showed us a very, very strong floor, just like Shiba Inu showed in 2021. Then guys, I think again, Bonk, uh, probably many people will forget about Bonk because, you know, it just stays in the same price and kind of doesn't do much, just like again, Shiba did in 2021. But then it's going to explode like absolutely crazy, okay? And again, from this like potential bottom, like we said, of like 500 uh, million market cap, okay? In the very, very, very best case scenario, okay? Uh, if Bonk reaches something like a 35 billion market cap, okay, then from 500 million, guys, we're basically talking about another 70x. Like, the crazy thing is that it's not like exactly what it happened from the bottom to top here, but it's still significant, guys. Like, 70x for something like, and especially Bonk now is a really large coin. Like, if, like, like you know what I mean? I actually traded Bonk like crazy. You see, like, all of this kind of stuff here. Like, I was buying and trading Bonk here quite a lot. And I made very nice gains, you know, here in Bonk when it was still relatively, like, you know, it was like 3x from the bottom, but it was still a lot lower than the current prices. But I just want to mention that in this region, you know, just because Bonk was a lot smaller of a coin, it was like rank 500 or something like that. Right now it's in the top uh 100 okay in uh rank 81 so back then the liquidity was a lot lower you know like even buying 10k of Bo i guess it was possible to buy 10k but you know like you would feel like you're you're actually kind of moving the price especially here here even by 5 6k you would kind of move the price okay here right now like 10k would not move the price of bonk at all because it has a lot more liquidity like you know only on binance like you need a million dollars, you know, to move the price by 2%. So basically now with Bonk, you know, you can literally get like a $1 million position or lower, <clears throat> okay? And uh, and make pretty significant gains, okay? So like if from the current situation, okay, Bonk does another 50X, it's gonna be absolutely, absolutely crazy. And I mean, this is like, this is what it's really called like a millionaire minting. You know, I just... You know, like a really funny side note I want to mention, like I've seen some videos, yeah, there were millionaires created with Bonk, millionaires created. Guys, there, like, maybe there are like three or four <laughs> millionaires around the whole world, and probably the, either they have already been millionaires or pretty rich, okay, uh, to kind of become millionaires by Bonk. <clears throat> but I just want to explain, like, if you buy a coin with like, you know, so to, to become a millionaire with Bonk, right, you needed to invest 10k and also s sell it somewhere here. Um, you know, w once it's valued at a million dollars, like, just want to mention, like, if you buy here <coughs> around 10k, you, you move the price, you feel like you move the price, and you take a massive risk, like, like you know, there are so many other coins <coughs> that may not move at all, right, so, like, if you're wrong, and Bonk is not gonna move much higher at all, <coughs> Then, you know, like, if you want to just sell your bag back, right, you, you, even if you, like, sell it at, like, break even, you're still going to lose quite a lot because you're going to move the price, there are fees, 
<clears throat> there are fees on chain and all of that. It's like, you, you know what I mean? Just not really many people had like a 10K position over here. This is my point. But now guys, now get to get a 10K or even a 100K position is super easy. So if anybody, you know, not everybody really have funds like 100K to <laughs> invest in bonds. But just in theory, if anybody really is going to invest 100K approximately, okay? And again, this is not financial advice. We really have no idea what exactly Bonk is really going to do. But, you know, m my main point is that now investing in Bonk, like a four, five, six figure amount is super easy. It's not going to move the price at all. So if Bonk does make another like 20, 30, 40 X, then people can really, really become millionaires without a problem. Or if anybody did invest here like a thousand, hopefully some of the watchers did. If you really were able to like get a position of a thousand and you still hold this position, okay, then Bonk can really do like a thousand X from the bottom and then that 1000 can really convert to 1 million. So to conclude my main point, right? So I think if Bonk does another 10 X or higher from the current prices, then we're gonna have a lot, a lot, pr really a lot of millionaires minted thanks to Bonk and that's gonna be absolutely fantastic. But we have a few different scenarios of what Bonk can do, okay? So like if the very, very top of the market, like I said, in the first scenario with Bitcoin, okay? If it's really close, again, in my opinion, Bonk is not gonna reach this 35 billion. I will even say in my second more bullish scenario, uh, it is still a pretty bullish scenario, right? Like it can reach some something midway through, right? Like maybe it can reach 13 billion, maybe 15 billion, you know. Like remember another interesting thing is that today we have a lot, a lot more meme coins. Like in 2021, we had also a decent amount of meme coins, but not as many as now. You know what I mean? Like this time Bonk can maybe really get to like 15 billion, you see. But for example, now you have like all of these other alternatives, like you have Whiff that also, for example, had a very significant move, you know. So like you gotta remember that it's also possible that like maybe bonk will be kind of diluted by other uh meme coins right so i just want to mention like that that like 70x you know like from uh, uh 500 million market cap to 35 billion is really my best case scenario i guess my more decent case scenario if bonk is gonna top like in mid 2024 or late 2024 or the beginning of 2025 then I think a more decent price prediction is still going to be like around, let's say, 15 billion in case Bonk is diluted by other meme coins as well. Um, but anyway, guys, that's going to be absolutely fantastic, too, because this is still going to be like a 30x, you know, of if Bonk was valued here at 500 million market cap. So, guys, to recap, we are in very, very interesting times. Just like I'm recording the video, actually, Bitcoin is slightly below 44k already and probably Ethereum against Bitcoin is even higher than when I started recording the video. So the next few days and weeks are going to be exceptionally important and interesting in all of crypto combined for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bonk and everything. And again, like I said, I think just remember, nobody talks about it. And this is why it's possible that this is going to happen. I think it's very possible that, you know, eventually Bitcoin is going to recover here and Ethereum and everything else is going to recover like within the next few days or weeks. And like the very, very top of the market is going to be sometime very soon, like in February or March. Again, I think it's less likely, but I think it's still possible. But then our second scenario, which I really hope this is what more or less is going to happen. Bitcoin is going to correct to like the 30K uh, region. OK, 30 to 39K, uh, maybe again, slight fake out just below and all the rest of crypto, including Ethereum, is going to collapse majorly. And like we said, I think Bonk can actually collapse to this region. Again, if it does reach here, we're going to see, can it even reach a much, much lower valuation? I think these valuations are a lot less likely, really, in my opinion, like this region here. So my target is going to be either here or actually uh, this next bottom. OK, so either this is, in my opinion, going to be the bottom for Bonk or this. If this is the bottom for Bonk, it means we're talking around 500 cap, uh, 500 million market cap, even slightly lower than that. And then guys, Bitcoin and Bonk and Ethereum are going to start building a new base. OK, just like Bitcoin built. OK, just like for that major, major move by Bonk, you know, we needed this consolidation here. We needed this consolidation at the 25K after we've been at 30K. So this time we'll need a new consolidation <clears throat> at the 30K region okay for uh bitcoin and maybe even touch once again this kind of trend line from the very beginning of the bull market you know maybe touch it somewhere here maybe even fake below uh just around the halving time and then start building a new significant way to the all-time high for bitcoin and of course 
for Bonk, okay? So, what I'm gonna be expecting, I think, first of all, Bonk still has a 10x if the top is very close, around a 10x, maybe slightly lower, but if we're gonna correct, okay, if Bonk is gonna correct to this region of 7, okay, basically gonna be halved from the current price and gonna stay undervalued for a few months, okay, then guys, in my opinion, something between a 20, 30x all the way to 70x for Bonk is gonna be very possible. And again, guys, I hope that liquidity thing makes sense to you that the liquidity was low here and now that it's much higher. But this is gonna be like, basically it would mean that a lot, a lot more people in the world are gonna be able to really do this 50x. Over here, not many people were able to do this 50x. Like, you know, some people were moving the price, right? The, and just the price was moving much, much easily. So it weren't really many people, but this time it could be many people. So this is my hope. My hope is that crypto corrects, relax for a few months, and Bonk is still gonna be like the king of meme coins for 2023 and 2024. And it's going to do this probably more than a 10x move, hopefully all the way, like we said, with 70x. So guys, I was AR7 Crypto once again. If you like this video, if you found it valuable and very interesting and very unusual to what most people out there think, if you like this video, please leave a like and also subscribe for new videos. And yeah, guys, thank you very much for being here and have a fantastic week and a fantastic weekend ahead. And cheers as always.